How are you today? Uh, this is Norma from Norma's Art Creations. I found something at Hobby Lobby that I thought was very interesting. And when I had watched Molly's from Molly's Artistry, I said this would be perfect for it. Uh, it's the Sunburst. And uh, she has these stands and I was I received these yesterday. So this is perfect for this board. So there's four pieces. They're triangle. So it makes up a 14. It makes up a 14 by uh, it's a master's touch. And it's a 14.75 uh, triangle stretch canvas set. So watch for these on sale. I bet they're going to be fun to do. I'm going to try to do the sunburst and uh, blow it out. Uh, it's going to be more like a blues. Uh, it won't be the uh, sun per se. It won't be the yellows. Uh, I think it'll be really, really pretty. So I'm going to mix up my paints and then we'll start painting. Okay, so we're going to go over the colors that I've mixed up. And the first one is the Pouring Masters, and this is Aquamarine. I've used this before in a wave, and I think that the colors are what, what I want today are close to the wave. So this is the Pouring Masters Aquam Aquamarine. I've got the Masters Touch White. I've got the Masters Touch Thalo Blue. I've got the Amsterdam, um, I keep forgetting what color this is. It's a brilliant blue. I have the Liquitex Basics. It's called Light Blue Permanent, Light Blue Permanent. I have my favorite here, Sapphire Blue. And this is the pre-mixed one so that you don't add any medium to them. And then I have not put this out in a cup yet. So if I need another light color, I'm going to use this light blue that is Master's Touch. I'm not for sure I'm using that yet. And then I have mixed up and I already had it. It's a Master's Touch uh, Ocean Blue, uh, Ocean Green. And that's what that is. So I'm going to get my canvas ready and then we're going to start pouring. So I have arranged my canvases and I put two of the stands in the middle so that they would not sag or maybe the hairdryer blow them off. I have checked to make sure that they are level on all four of them. So now what I'm going to do, I wanted to try to keep these uh, as close together but the same distance. So we're going to start, I wanted to start with the uh, ocean blue in the middle because I want to blow it out. So I'm going to come with the ocean blue. And I'm just going to make a circle. Try to keep it as even as I can. Kind of want to get those corners in there. And I put a silicone mat underneath here because I bet you I'm going to get some really pretty skins. I don't have the Lola Vessi that they have in some of the places. I know I've got a bald spot over there. So I'm going to take a little popsicle stick and kind of try to push, push it over. And we're over here too. Kind of look. 
look at what I've got. Okay. Then the next color I want to come with is a little bit darker. And this is the aquamarine. No, this is, yes, this is the aquamarine. Okay, then I'm going to, to put the uh, light blue. This is the Amsterdam. I want to really put some some white in because I I do want uh, it to look like some waves that, like a um, like a wave bursting out. So I do want to put a little bit of uh, white in because I think it will help. I actually have white mixed up with a little touch of yellow, so I'm going to to put that in right now. Okay, and then I'm going to come in with my darker blue. I love that phthalo blue. So I'm going to put it now. Trying to make sure that it didn't thicken up on me. It looks a little thick. So I just realized that I had not put the studio lights on. So I am now going to put a strip of the phthalo blue in. That is thick, so I'm going to add a little bit of water. Now I've got it too thin, so so we're gonna start adding it in. I might get have gotten it still a little too thin, but I don't want it too thick either. So Foam lobe. No wonder it was thick. That's where it was on the bottom. Okay. Let me get that off real quick. That'll just be a nice dark spot when I blow it out.
Okay. Now I really want to put, next to that, I want to put this really beautiful aqua uh, color. What I should do is just come in with a little bit of these colors that I have left over and just kind of stick some in. This is the one that had a little bit of yellow in it. Okay, here we go.
touch this because I'm I'm touching the you know, let's see if I can get this corner. I'm gonna have to move this away. Turn this a little bit else it's going to go right off, so And I'm going to have to move them to get the popsicle stick under it anyway, so. Well, I'm going to bring you down. I uh, right across the canvas and then bring you down. Uh, this is a wet version. I had to move them and separate them so that I could get the uh, popsicle stick in there. And I ended up picking them up and kind of touching their sides just to uh, make sure that it's not dripping off and I lose this pattern because I really, really like it. Look at all the webbing and some of the colors that I used last night, the ocean green and some of them actually had Floetrol in them. Most of them had just the gloss medium. But I love, absolutely love the areas where the white is webbing and, and it's so pretty. I just can't wait to see this dry and hang it on the wall. Here's the dried results. I moved it off of the table and put it on the cups. I'm trying to get it high enough that you can see the whole thing. Um, it is so pretty. I did put a little bit of the sapphire blue in with the ocean green uh, just to give the center not so much negative space. And I, I really like that. I think when this is uh, glazed, when it is uh, varnish, that'll be really pop. Um, you can see all the webbing. And I love the way the white intermingled with the, with the different colors. coming out through up there. And this, this area is really, really pretty. I love about the uh, acrylic pouring community because they're so sharing and they encourage, there's no negativity. And I love that about this community. And I just want to encourage people to have a positive out outlook and have a great day. If I can do it, you can do it.